Exclusive! What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Exclusive! Ex Scoopy. Excoopive. That's right. I think I just came up with a new word. Excoopive. I think that's what I'm going to start saying when like uh, this stuff starts coming about. Because, yes, guys, we have another exclusive. It's not from uh, where you're thinking it is this time. No, this one uh, actually comes from a different website uh, that someone is in the uh, Scoopy Pants game. This comes from Cinema Spot right there. The Cinema Spot. And they have exclusive Catwoman series in development at HBO Max. And then, of course, the, the article states right here, I have exclusively learned that another The Batman spinoff series is in development. Warner Brothers Television is currently working on a Catwoman show for HBO Max. Not much is current currently known about the series outside of the fact that it's set in the same universe as the upcoming The Batman movie. Zoe Kravitz is expected to reprise her role as Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. Yeah, that does make sense. I would say that they probably won't have a series if they don't know for sure that she's going to be part of it since she is Catwoman within the Batman world. That just, you know, that's just something right there to think about. Yesterday, Hulu announced that their high fidelity series would be per, uh, prematurely ending after one season. While we currently do not know why the series was canceled, it is likely Catwoman had a hand in this decision. So not only is Catwoman stealing jewels and shit like that and doing flippy kicks and all that stuff and kicking some ass out there, she's also destroying Hulu shows. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that, that doesn't make any sense. They're, they were just like, you know what, guys, we're shutting it down. You know, all you people, you're going to be jobless now because Zoe Kravitz got to do a Catwoman series, okay? She's, she's dedicated to the role. So we got to shut it down. Sorry, okay? I know, especially right now with COVID and everything, and you know the economy kind of sucks. But hey, watch Catwoman on HBO Max. I don't know, just that that right there, just very strange to me. Ultimately, I decided to wait until the fate of High Fidelity was determined first before running this scoop, which I knew about a month ago in case this Catwoman show fell apart. So man, he's been sitting on this for a month. Look at him. That's actually pretty good because usually, you know, guys, when they get some of this information, you know, they just they can't hold themselves back. So I, I guess I commend them for that. But it just doesn't make sense. Why would they have a spinoff series when we haven't even seen her in the fucking costume? <laughs> we, we don't even know. Like we saw her stunt double on a motorcycle. That's about it. So I don't understand where all this. Why would they would just be like, yeah, let's just green light Catwoman. Let's fucking do it. Especially when she's like going to probably be like mainly in all three movies if in fact Matt Reeves doing a, a trilogy and it's like but you're also going to do a I don't know just doesn't make sense to me I don't I'm not buying it but uh you know I guess we'll see what's true uh even Grace Randolph was like you know what uh check my sources and guess what it's not true so I mean everybody's kind of you know loving Grace right now so do you want to take her word or just kind of just kind of put it together and it just doesn't make sense so that's just me, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below, huh? <laughs> okay. Like I said, Catwoman also destroying Hulu shows. That bitch. <laughs>